kind of taking a little bit further down the path on that, uh, I am joined today by two players. Not one, but two from Detroit City FC. Uh, I am lucky enough to be joined by uh, Patricio Pato Botello Faz. Pato, as they know you, right? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for joining. Appreciate it. And we also have Armando Cazetta. Is I pronounced that right? That is perfect. Oh, I appreciate it. Boys, thank you so much for joining. Um, all right, you guys have a big game coming up tonight, right? It kicks off the first game of the fall season for you guys. Just so everybody's aware, um, NISA kind of breaks up their, their summer season. There's a spring season and a fall season. The spring season uh, had unanimous champions, which was you guys, right? That's correct. Yeah. I, I, was, I was at that game. Uh, it was the LA Force, right? Is that how you guys played? Um, one nothing victory. The celebration afterwards was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, a party in Detroit is what happens. <laughs> oh yeah, I can uh, I can testify. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was so fun to be there. Um, so they break up the season. There's the spring season. Uh, now the fall season kicks off today. So Detroit City FC is playing at home tonight against Chicago House. AC, the AC stands for Athletic Club, Athletic Club I believe. Uh, 7.30 kickoff at Keyworth Stadium. Uh, get there. If you don't have tickets, you can find them at DebtCityFC.com. Um, Pato, kind of the star man in that first part of the season there. Uh, five goals, uh, played in 12 games. Um, enjoyable season. Did you accomplish your personal goals in the season that you were going for? Uh, what were your thoughts there? Yeah, I mean, I came to Detroit because I knew they were a winning team, first of all, so I was pretty familiar with with uh, the, the club itself, right? So I knew it was a winning club and and that was my first priority. I wanted to win uh, this year. So that was my personal goal, just win a championship with, with Detroit and then everything else just came. You know, when you win as a team, you get recognized in the yep. individual standpoint as well. So yep. that just happened. Did, did you know about Detroit City FC? Because I, know, I believe in 2019 you played with uh, the Lansing Ignite team, correct? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, man, I watched some of the highlights the other day from that season. Uh, you put some balls in the back of the net and were quite the standout player. Um, did you know uh, at that point? Obviously you knew about Detroit. Uh, is that one of the reasons you, you were up there and then you decided upon coming to Detroit because of that? Um, I knew, you knew about them? Yeah, I knew of Detroit when I was in Lansing. That's the first time I heard of it, yeah. Because uh, they played a Mexican team, mm -hmm. I think Atlas or something that we, year. We beat them 2-1. Yeah, they beat Atlas 2-1. <laughs> so I, I heard about Detroit. And I kind of followed uh, along. I had a few friends that played here. And then my roommate, Maxi, signed uh, this season. So mm -hmm. I talked to him as well before before me signing here. Uh, so, yeah, everything just kind of worked out. But, yeah, I mean, two years. Yeah. The first time I heard from Detroit, yeah. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. Um, how, how are you liking Detroit? Metro, love, Metro Detroit's a nice area. I it? love Detroit. Yeah. yeah, I love Detroit. It's gets a bad rap from people who've never yeah, been here. I, th I think so, yeah. I mean, I, from the first day I got here, I was like, this is completely different than yeah. what I expected. And not just, I mean, obviously the club is great, the fans are great, but the city itself is, is really, really nice. Yeah. yeah, lovely. Love it. All right. How do you like the Northern Guard? How do you like playing in front of the Northern oh Guard fans? Uh, it makes is it the, nuts? It makes the game day experience just oh. a whole nother level. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I've played at different places. I've played in San Antonio. They have a really good fan base. Um, I've played in Greenville, South Carolina, where they have a great fan base there as well. But Detroit, like, it's just there's – It's next level. Yeah, there's clubs here, and then there's the Northern Guard. They're just <laughs> on a tier above their own. It's insane. Uh, just – they know your name. They know where yeah. you're from. They're interested in your in your interests. Yeah. Um, you know, you could sit down and, and talk to them, and they know your life instantly. It's 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 kind of weird, yeah. you know. Um, all right, so it, it is very. So I, I don't know if you guys know. I played for Detroit City way back when they first started up. I was uh, one of the first players on the, the the official team. So I know about the Northern Guard, but it has gotten. It went from like the Northern Guard to the Northern Guard, and it is you're right. They know your name. They know where you. They know where you're from. They love talking to you, and you're like, "Have I met you before?" It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I was it's like, nuts. "No, I don't think I know you, dude." Like, <laughs> and once you're in the family of the Northern Guard, you're there forever, man. Yeah. They're so nice. It is so fun to be a part of that. Um, let's talk about playing. Obviously, um, you know Nate Steinwasch is the number one goalie at the moment. Um, he, he's taken up a little bit of the minutes there. 
Uh, are you kind of just biding your time, learning behind the scenes a little bit? You've you've had some, you've got some, you've got into some games and you've played well when you've been in there. Um, but it's got to be a little tough as as Nate is the number one uh, goalie, correct? Absolutely. But um, I was here in 2019 mm -hmm. for my uh, my first stint here, um, and then one of the things that I left the club with was my relationship with Nate. Um, you know, when you're at certain clubs, especially as a goalkeeper, mm -hmm. you know, you're in direct competition with, you know, with the person ahead of you and you want to get some playing time. Yep. Um, but the difference with Nate and I is that we have a fantastic relationship off the field and on the field. Nice. Um, he's been with Detroit forever. He's, on, he's a club legend, right? I mean, he, he's really proved it yep. um, on the field. Um, so there's nothing but respect there. And now that I've came back to the club, um, I'm here to help the team. I'm here to help him. He's, he's there to help me, right? Mm -hmm. We're, we train every day and I'm trying to get better. He's trying to get better and that's all that matters. We're having fun. Um, I've been in situations where that's not the case, where I'm not having fun, where the relationship isn't there. Um, and that's not... That's not here, huh? That's not how it works here. That's not how it right. works here. So Nate's an outstanding guy. He just had a baby, so he's had oh, a newborn right. this Big week. Big shout out to Nate yeah, yeah. To, to Noah. That's so right. He's part of the family now, part of yeah. the CFC. So I'm sure he'll end up playing for the club eventually. Maybe. Exactly. Uh, I I do want to hit upon that because. I, I was out, uh, I've been out to a lot of the games this year, and I can attest to the fact that you've been on the sidelines kind of warming up and doing your thing, and every time there's a huge save, you are the first one up and clapping, right? So Nate makes a big save, yeah. you're up there, you're clapping, you're cheering him on. Uh, it, it's not just kind of, it's not BS, you're laying out here, or a one-liner type, ah, we're, we're, we're close, we're cool, I want him to do well. I can attest to that, because I've seen you 100% clapping on the team, and it's tough when you're a player because you want to be on the field, but you want your team to do well. So yeah. it, it, it's been great to see. Um, God, I was, uh, it, 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 might have been at the, uh, it might have been at the LA Force game. Um, I was standing along the sideline, and a lot of the, the guys who were on the bench for Detroit City FC were kind of warming up. And you guys are just cheering your teammates on. Um, and, you know, it, it is so good to see because... Uh, Coach Trevor's done a pretty good job this year of rotating players in. I, I was looking at a lot of the stats last night, um, and there's some players who there's I only I want to say there's two or three, maybe four players who've started every single game. But other than that, there's on a rotational basis. Coach is getting a lot of players, a lot of minutes because, uh, as a good coach knows, you're gonna need that later in the season. So as it comes down. You know, maybe someone goes down with an injury, and, and if someone hasn't played in the season, it's going to be tough for them to jump in and pick it right back up. So yeah. it is great to see a coach doing that. It's great to see you guys as players cheering those teammates on because you know you're going to get minutes. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, what, what's training like? Is training, is training pretty tough? Because I know you guys train four or five days a week. Yeah. Uh, is training tough or, you know, what's that like? Uh, it's intense. Yeah, yeah, I think it's intense. Everybody just wants to be better every day yeah. and you know you don't get to win games without you know training hard so I think Trevor has a great mindset of when to train uh, and how, how to train certain days of the week you know when he gets closer to game day obviously you turn it down a little bit uh, but when the week starts you know everybody's going hard 100% in everything everything we do from the warm-up to the passing drills to 77 11 whatever we do is yeah. pretty intense yeah Nice. What's it like uh, being with Coach Trevor? Is he, you kind of just trying to soak everything up? Is, is he a good coach? Is yeah. you, lo you love playing for him? Yeah, what, yeah. What's the, is he, uh, he, he's a legend, man. The, yeah. the guys he's, he's played for and coached with, he, it's a big name in the game. I mean, yeah, obviously I knew of Trevor before, uh, you know, coming to Detroit. You know who he is just because of his background and yeah. everything he's done for the game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love playing for him. I think he took a chance on me. Uh, and I'm forever grateful with him and, and Tiffany for for that. And I think they put a great team together, touching on what you were saying earlier. Uh, it's hard to bring in players and everybody just getting along with each other uh, from different uh, teams and places and stuff. To, to have a team uh, when you're not playing, they're cheering on you and stuff because sometimes you're playing and you're like, well, I know that guy doesn't want me to do good because he wants to play, right? To win here is... Everybody just wants you to do good. It doesn't matter if right. you're starting or coming off the bench. It just 
it's a different culture and that's why I love it so much here as well. It sounds like a real family atmosphere yeah. and you guys are building upon that. Yeah. Uh, I assume the expectations for the fall season here are, are nothing but winning. It's just win every single game, go out there, compete, win, and then uh, a cha another championship, right? So as the Northern Guard says, We'll, we'll win another trophy and throw it on the pile, right? That, that's got to be the that's got to be the goal, and nothing short of that, right? I mean, that's the culture. I mean, yep. that's why you're here. That's that's why you're a professional. Right. Um, Trevor picks players that he sees that mentality. Like he needs to see that in you, or you're not here for yep. that same reason. Um, the rosters, you know, made out of players that there's 18 starters, right? He says that in our pre games a lot. Whoever's on the bench could easily start on any team in the league, right? Right. Um, and then having that depth, having that support, like he talks about from your teammates, establishing the culture that winning is the only option here right. in Detroit, right? Yep. So that makes it fun. The pressure's on, right? You, yeah. you get at home and it's like, oh, well, we'll get a tie. Or even in away games, we're not going to an away field and be like, well, we can leave here with the tie and we're happy with that. It's it just that's not what Trevor's instilled in this team. And there's a reason he's been so successful, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, guys, if you're not convinced yet, I don't know what to tell you, but the culture at Detroit City FC is, is, is second to none. Uh, I've been inside there, inside the locker room a little bit, and I've talked to the coaches, I've talked to a lot of the players, and as these guys said, it's winning. It's winning or nothing, but it's a family atmosphere and they're cheering each other on. Uh, if you haven't been to one of the games, you've, you need to, because it is, it's a hell of a time, it's a great Great atmosphere, good time to be part of. Uh, get your tickets for each game at DebtCityFC.com. Uh, boys, uh, I know there's a big game coming up tonight, uh, so I'm sure you're going to be heading off, uh, getting some food in you, and then taking a little nap and getting ready for that. Uh, I do want to say thank you very much, uh, Armando and Pato, for drop dropping by. Very much appreciate it. We will see you out there, and good luck tonight, boys. No, appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that, that's going to wrap us up for another edition of We Are Soccer. Um, again, another segment. We could have gone hours into the making there because there's so much to talk about. Um, we're not allowed that much time, but, uh, you know, we, we could do it. We'll do it again uh, next week. Big thank you to Woodbird Sports and Adam, the producer behind the scenes. Thank you, Adam. Uh, big thank you to our sponsors and friends, Detroit City FC, Michigan Jaguars, Tim Merritt with Ross Mortgage, Superior Family Dental, and Next Level Training. Um, they're all very good people, all great companies. I give you my word on that. Uh, do me a favor. Make sure you like all of the We Are Soccer social channels. We're on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You name it, we're on it. All right, guys. Until next week, we'll see you later. Cheers.